Yes, morning champions, this is Elias Mohozi. Very delighted to join you this week to share with you tips you can use to grow your business, especially with network marketing. I'm also the author of this wonderful book, The Master Key to Network Marketing Success. Uh, this is our French version. We also have the English version. You can get it from any of the bookstores, especially in East Africa, from Aristo, from uh, Textbook Center in, in Nairobi, and also from Dar es Salaam. Uh, um, we can also be able to get the French version of this book uh, in the French-speaking countries. Those of us who are new to this channel, you are most welcome. I'm really delighted to share with you tips I've used to grow my business. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the tips we share to grow your business network marketing. Um, this week we have a very, very interesting topic, and that is uh, six tips to help you grow your business with network marketing. And these tips are going to help you to grow your business because it's what I've used to grow my empire throughout the years I've been in network marketing. Now, the first one, is uh, uh, never stop prospecting. And this is really, really very important because I want to suggest that every time you feel that you need to grow, that's time for you to write a new name list. That's, all, that's, that's what I've done for the last so many years. Every time I feel that my business is down, every time I need to grow my income, every time I needed to grow my team, I knew that the first thing to, for me to do is to grow a name list. So, Senior networkers, top networkers, top earners, they really, really never stop uh, prospecting. Actually, one of the tips I share in my book is the art of prospecting and the art of making a very nice name list. So make sure that you really never stop prospecting if you want your business to keep on growing. Uh, the second one is uh, never to put all the hope in one leg. They say that network marketing width is what makes you make a lot of money of course depth is where your the strength of your business is but really uh the people who have grown huge incomes who have been able to grow huge networks who are earning a lot of money are those people who focus on the width not just on the depth width is about how many people are attached to my to your circle how many people you sponsor directly so it's very very important that we never focus on just one leg you remember that in network marketing there's attrition. Even the strongest of the strongest can quit the business. So if you lie on one leg, you may be doomed to fail. So make sure that you have as many legs as what? As possible. Uh, also very, very important is that uh, in network marketing number three, there's no such a thing as natural growth. Maybe not just network marketing. In any business, there's no such a thing as natural growth. You cannot leave your business on a plateau and just grow like that. You cannot just uh, lose weight just like that. You cannot just grow your income just like that. You really need to put in an extra effort. So any growth of any kind needs an extra mile. Every time you feel that you're relaxing, even when your income seems to be stable, I promise you it may go down eventually because um, um, when you leave it to, when you leave your income, when you leave your business, for the natural growth, story by story, it, comes, it starts coming down. And before you know it, you are no longer earning the amount of money you should be able to be earning. So make sure that you go the extra mile every time. Every time you achieve one goal, go for another goal. Achieve this other goal, go for another goal. It's very, very important. Yesterday, I was doing a training and uh, I think one of the lines, uh, the quotes I got from someone was that uh, momentum is created by you focusing on the next goal and the next goal and the next goal. Every time you achieve a new goal, don't relax. Go for the next goal. That is the way to maintain momentum. Uh, then uh, point number four and very, very important is um, uh, do not just motivate your team but inspire them. Now, motivation is what you tell your team. You can do it. Yes, we go. Rah, rah, rah. That is all motivation. But inspiration really comes from the actions that you do, what they see without you telling them. So, inspiration really comes from your action. When you take action, your team takes action. Remember we say, monkey do, monkey, ma monkey see, monkey do. And also, monkey sit, monkey sit also. That is the one of the acronyms in network marketing. So, it's very important uh, my dear champions, that you really inspire your team with a lot of activity, with a lot of results, with your earnings. I have such a very big team of very brilliant people, people who are really stars. And one of the ways that has helped me to really keep them motivated, keep them, uh, you know, up there, keeping, keeping them searching for the next goal, it's because of my inspiration. Once I earn a lot of income, it inspires them. I don't have to, to motivate them. Once I do activity, it inspires them. I sign up a person, it inspires them. I go for a new market, it inspires them. So it's very important that 
we really inspire our teams through our actions that we do on a daily basis. Um, then the other uh, very, very important point is, and uh, very, very important by the way, is to look for opportunities within your team. Now, I know that um, generally speaking, we are always looking for opportunities outside. I normally meet so many people in my office to come to me like, applying, please, uh, you know, give us tips. How can I grow? Where, where are the answers? Give me something. And sometimes I tell them, you know what? The opportunity lies within your team. Now, what opportunities should you look for within your team? Number one, uh, the new signups within your team. Remember that every new sign-up comes with a natural market out together. So it's very, very important that every person that joins your business, you meet them personally, get to know um, 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 exactly why they join the business, which market segment they represent, what are their dreams, and they will bring new motivation, new energy. So they don't uh, keep on looking for new sign-ups uh, who will join your team before focusing on the ones who have already joined your team. In Africa, we have, uh, I think, a saying that says, a bird in hand is worth doing the work in the bush. So focus on the downers that you have, the new sign-ups that you have before you look for the ones uh, who may join your team later. Uh, the other opportunity is through the raising stars. The raising stars. There are people within your network, they may be old in the business, they may have been in the business for some time, but these people show that they're raising, they are signing up a lot of people, they are growing very fast, they are learning to be speakers, they are loving the stage, they are taking on roles. So those are raising stars. Now, such a raising star, even when you uh, probably have been working with the upline, go deep down inside your team and ask yourself, who are the raising stars? Which people can I put as part of my mastermind? Who can join my masterclass? Which people can I work with directly among the people who are raising? Raising stars are a great opportunity in your business. And the other one are the new markets. So for example, someone within your network has grown, uh, is planning to grow a new market. Maybe they go to Zambia and maybe they get some business. Ask yourself, maybe if they can get business in Zambia, if they can get business in maybe Copper Belt, if they can get business in Nairobi, if they can get business in Mombasa, if they can get business in Bali, it really means that there could be more business. Go and support them. Create a camp there, you know, create trainings there. Who are the leaders who are there? And also, most important, they look for where the signups are coming, where the sales are coming from. A region that has a, has is creating more sales or maybe some growth of sales, um, but you have not really been focusing on it. It means that is a great opportunity for you to focus on in your business. Now, well, anyway, there are so many opportunities within your business. Please look for them. And then last but not least, and very important, invest in your team. I want to say that probably over the so many years I've done network marketing, I've been a master at investing in the business. It is really, really bad for any leader to make money and eat all the what? The money. I know that with network marketing, uh, you don't really have to rent premises, you're not paying workers, you're not employing anyone, you're not doing anything, but there are really investments which, which we must be able to make. Uh, for example, incentives, the travel, uh, you know, uh, exciting your team, uh, by giving them, you know, you know, parties at the end of the month and what of you to inspire them. That's really, really very important. So it's important that anyone um, um, uh, who is earning money in the business, make sure that a percentage of it goes back to the business. That's what is going to create more growth and more growth within your network. Otherwise, dear champions, I'm really delighted you have listened to me this week. Uh, please um, uh, write down below uh, in the comment section, um, um, you know, give us a few other tips that you have been able to use to grow your business so that we share with you uh, and you also share with others and inspire them. Otherwise, I'm really so delighted. Remember to subscribe and also get yourself a copy of the Master Key. Otherwise, thank you so much. See you on top. Away.